Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss about to MySQL convert function and MySQL cost function. So, about the convert function, convert a value from one data type to another type. So, at here, this is the syntax convert value and time. So, I already written this all to save some time. So, at here, this is the date time format, but it's a at, at your double code that means it's a string so it that is string converting into date so let's execute here so this is now converting into 2017 8 29 so at your string converted into date format so the use of convert function so at here you have to pass and here this is the type of data data type so at here uh, it's not looking good convert this on so in place of this one you can give a uh, column alias so add here so this is date now let's execute again okay. so add here date and here 2017 so this string value is now converted into date so like this you if you want to convert 150 into cap so add here this is the value here data time so let's execute that one. So see at here convert 150. So it's converted into cap. So if you want to convert this one, this string value into time. So here you have to give a string value and time data time. So it's now converted into time. And hereafter, if you want to uh, convert x y z using UTF format, so at here you have to use select convert here x y z here you have to use using. Now, if you execute this one, so right here, this is now converted into UTF-8 format. So right here, you can't give comma. So if you give right here comma, so definitely that gives the error. So in place of this one, so if you want to convert this one XYZ in UTF-8 format, so right here, you have to use using. And now, you know, that will work fine. So these two things add here con MySQL convert function. So it's a convert value from one data type to another data type. So this is a value. So this is the uh, integer. So that is now converting to cap. Now uh, add here my SQL cost function. So convert a value from one data type to another data type. So it's also used to convert to a value from one data type to another. So the difference is add here I'm using comma and here uh, add here I'm using as. So select cost and here you have to give data and here it's now converting to date format. So see here it's a converting into date format and here you can also use column alias. So give at here as and here after date. Now if you execute this query, so this is now uh, at here column alias is now. And here after, if you want to convert 125 into or uh, characters, so I use 125 as cache. So this is the value here, data. Now 120 uh, select at here or uh, unsigned. So this is now it's converted into or uh, at your select cost 125 into unsigned. So at here 125.8. So the nearest value of unsigned is 126 so like that here it's a display on 126 if you give at your 120 or 120 5.4 so see at here it's a output come 125 now hereafter if you want 4 minus 6 as a sign so that will give you the output minus 2 so 4 minus or 6 the value come minus 2 and sign and here is a select cost so if you Execute this one. So see at here, it's now x y z. So x y is not z is not uh, trying to convert into unsigned. So at here, it's a uh, not in correct format. So that here, it's a uh, returning zero. Now in place of uh, uh, this, if you are use try to use uh, convert function, and let's give at here comma. So let's see what happened. So it's also returning fine. The difference is at your syntax difference. Yeah, you have to use as 
a forecast earlier in convercast you have to use as earlier convert for comma now you can also use earlier find convert earlier 4 minus 6 earlier comma now let's execute that one so see here it's a returning minus 2 so the work almost same so both are working uh, to convert one data time value into another data time now let's uh, uh, use add here cost function so add here cost function as that uh, and let's use to, to try to check xyz into latin format or utf format so add here cost function and here xyz i'm trying to convert so right here it's not working let's give right here as now execute so right here it's not working so select cost xyz as utf so it's not working with cost function so, so this is the second difference here yeah, it's not working in cost but if you are trying to convert with convert functions it will work so right here let's give convert now here xyz and here you have to use using keyword so that will work now xyz is now convert into utf format utf8 so this is the things about convert and cost function in mysql or database so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you